We're coming to you from the Global Washington Annual Conference, Smarter Approaches to a Changing World, here at the Bell Harbor Conference Center in Seattle, Washington. So, Casey, tell us about climate solutions. I mean, I asked the question before, is this a for-profit or a not-for-profit? It does indeed sound like a consultant. Uh, it's a not-for-profit. Um, we're not so much consultants as advocates and facilitators of solutions in the public and private sector. Um, we're, we're big believers, very bullish, on the prospects for accelerating the transition from the fossil fuel economy to the clean energy economy, and we think the Northwest is a particular, uh, particularly good place to be sort of a proof point for that transition. And we try to, uh, you know, there's, there's roles for public institutions, for individuals, for businesses, for nonprofits, and uh, we try to help everybody who wants to play a part in that picture find their role. You know, it's interesting, it must be a tough job, though, because as we speak, oil prices are coming down, uh, U.S. oil production is going up, and there's a much greater interest in uh, bringing oil out of Alaska mm -hmm. that uh, didn't seem to be there a couple of years ago. Well, so is there, is there a future for fossil fuels? Uh, no, um, and there, of course, the fossil fuel industry is always interested in the future for fossil fuels. I think we're going to make that transition. And, you know, the, we're in a funny place now because we're making progress on solutions and accelerating the problem in parallel to one another. Um, so the clean energy economy is really uh, growing very fast and costs are coming down for solar and electric cars and uh, energy efficiency is saving people tons of money. So we're making lots of progress on the alternatives. But the oil companies are also succeeding because they enjoy a lot of political and economic power in continuing to drill and expand their infrastructure. We can't keep moving forward on the problem and on the solution at the same time. At some point, we need to come to the crossroads and say, we need to make the choice to make this transition. We're not at that point yet, but I can tell you that the signs that the clean energy economy that is going to replace the fossil fuel economy is accelerating and is gonna be ready for prime time are very encouraging. One of the, the biggest symbols of use of energy is, is the automobile. And there has been a lot of changes in automobiles mm -hmm. lately where there are more and more electric cars that, mm -hmm. are, that are out there, but they're very expensive. Mm -hmm. uh, do you see those prices coming down? Absolutely, and, and, and um, you know there are a lot of alternatives to just driving around uh, on a big 6,000-pound power plant. Um, electric cars are one of them, but you know in a city like Seattle, Five years ago, I couldn't take the light rail to the airport. Now I can. Five years ago, there were no car sharing programs. Now there are. Five years ago, there weren't any decent bike lanes in Seattle, and now there are. So there's lots of good alternatives. On the electric cars in particular, uh, you say they're expensive. I pay $50 a month to lease my Nissan Leaf. I fill it up with carbon-free, zero carbon electricity from Seattle City Light. Cost me about a buck and a half to fill it up. It's a lot cheaper to own and operate that vehicle than it would be for me to even own and operate a, a Honda Accord. And I say that not by saying, um, my point in saying that isn't, um, you know, here we are in our ecotopian bubble and, and I'm reducing my carbon footprint and it's not a greener than now thing. It's a, we really do have the ability and the technology now to take our money and our power back from the fossil fuel economy and start invest, investing it in a clean energy economy and healthier communities. And you can see the evidence of that becoming more and more available and affordable now. You know, I've got a feeling that we're gonna have a lot of conversations about mm. this uh, in the near future. So I hope thank, so. thank you very much for being with us. Thanks so much. Rainmaker believes we can change